Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. It is currently bright and early. It's like 6 40 a.m. and I've already gotten my workout in. This is the earliest workout class. I don't want to say actually, I'm pretty sure this is the earliest workout class I have ever been to. I tried to challenge myself this morning to go to the 555 class and I did get seven hours of sleep, so that definitely helps. But it's never easy waking up that early in the morning to go and do a workout. Yeah, I went to F45 this morning because um, I had a few passes from there left and it's not like the traditional classes, so it's an open gym. So you can follow the sign that's on the ground and everyone has to wear a mask as well. Also too, the sun is actually rising right now. So I think I'm gonna drive to the beach and go check it out and just have some morning me time. It's honestly very peaceful. The only people here are runners, which honestly I applaud those people who get up and run in the early morning. But it's just, it's honestly so peaceful and serene. I can't get over this. This is honestly why I love Vancouver. It's just so incredibly beautiful. I feel very blessed to spend this past year in a city that everything's outside. I feel like that is like the fun things to do are all outside. I also keep looking at my car because I'm being cheap and I don't want to pay for parking. So I'm hoping I don't get a ticket. got a package in the mail from Girls Crew and this vlog is actually sponsored by them and they sent me a bunch of really really beautiful pieces. I couldn't wait and I actually put some on. I am absolutely obsessed and something else I absolutely love is they are a woman and POC Asian owned company which I think is amazing. All of the pieces are originally designed in house and absolutely stunning and the packaging too is absolutely beautiful. It comes in this pink case with gold on the front that says girls crew and then you open it up and you have all the little bags that the jewelry comes in. So big thank you to them for sponsoring this vlog. I want to show you guys everything I got. So the first thing which I think I'm most excited about is this absolutely stunning necklace so they do specialize in demi fine jewelry and so we have this really thin gold chain with these tiny little butterflies on it and it's just so dainty and beautiful i feel like it goes with any single outfit and next up we have these rings which i'm completely obsessed with i am gonna leave all the information on each of the pieces down below so if you guys want to shop these as well and then we have this one that just goes around and what's nice too is that because they are open you can actually go in and tighten them so you can wear them on any finger which i I think is fantastic and of course i had to get some earrings as well so i actually got two sets of earrings they come like this and i love earrings that you can stack their jewelry is actually made for stacking between the necklaces and the rings and then i also got a stack of these hoop earrings that i currently have in my ears but i really like this type of jewelry for everyday wear i find it's just really subtle and nice and i just never <laughs> want to take this necklace off and i will leave a discount code down below for you guys as well it's going to be laura 15 and you can get 15 percent off so whether you want to treat yourself this summer or get a gift for a friend, it's such a beautiful company and I love that it's woman-led. Woman entrepreneurs are my jam. And with that, I'm going to get back to work on my own business and let's continue the day. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I'm currently making some breakfast. I have a protein smoothie and a cinnamon raisin bagel with cream cheese. I'm also currently attempting to film a TikTok daily vlog, which <laughs> trying to film this and that. I'm like, oh my God, it's like so much filming. So if you guys aren't following me on there, definitely go do so because... I feel like I post some fun content there. So basically when filming a TikTok vlog, I'll show you guys kind of in today's video how I'm doing it. So I've already kind of started and just getting quick little clips. So like I have a shot of like me in my bed and then here you can kind of see it's just like me like that. This quick like one second clips of my morning and I'm just going to take that through my entire day. So for example, I'm obviously going to talk about doing live more stuff. So I'm going to get a few different shots of me doing business work. So there's kind of two different ways you can do it. You can film the TikTok by just like pressing on this and holding down, letting go, or you can actually go timer. And so you can press timer and then just do like a one second after. So then, you know, it's not going to keep recording. But I did hear a rumor this morning that apparently three minute long TikTok videos are coming. So I found that very, very interesting. 
All right, time to make some lunch. I'm gonna make a salad that I made last week that was super good. So basically all you need is some greens. I have spinach and arugula here, and then some cherry tomatoes, asparagus, halloumi cheese, and then a bit of olive oil and you cook up the halloumi cheese just so it's a bit fried and you also obviously cook the asparagus as well and then you mix it all together give it a little shake and you have a super delicious lunch so that's what we're gonna do right now and just like that we have our delicious salad Good morning, you guys. Another big work day ahead of us. It's actually one o'clock, so I have been working for a little bit now, just doing a whole bunch of things for Live More and trying to stay hydrated. I currently actually just ran next door to go get a parcel. Um, this is a little set I picked up. Um, it's actually a Live More sample. I think in the fall I'm gonna do some activewear, so I'm just currently testing out different manufacturers for that. But it actually is pretty cute. There's a few like to fit issues the honestly the whole design process it takes like if you want to develop a product i'd say it takes anywhere from like six months to a year so you have to start really early that's definitely a mistake i've made in the past is not giving myself enough time to actually develop the products to get out when i want but yeah my goal was like probably september ish to do some activewear stuff for the fall because i feel like i mean i personally live in activewear these days so i feel like it's a very like natural fit for the brand and also too when you travel you always need at least one activewear set to bring especially if it's on a plane or something like that so yeah, kind of working on having everything you need for a trip on the site is kind of what I'm trying to build out right now. I actually am going to go work out later. I have a workout at 6.15, so about four more hours of work and then time to get outside. It's also so hot in Vancouver today. This whole week is honestly so nice. So it's just lovely to have that hot weather back. So I'm loving it. All right, just making some lunch. We're being super healthy today. We're having a protein smoothie. And then I also added some of this collagen in there, collagen creamer. Taste test is moment of truth. It's actually pretty good. Honestly, you guys know this. So it's a hit or miss, I feel like. I always just try new things and then don't ever get the ball portions right, but this is actually pretty decent, so let's keep working. Just worked out and Jen and I decided to grab a quick drink on, well actually not a drink, just a drink. Actually, why are we drinking after work? I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, we, <laughs> let's blah, 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 back up. We grabbed some dinner and then happened to have a beer. Um, second thing but yeah the patio is really cute here it's everything's very spread out and safe um and here with Jen, her and i like to go die in different spots but yeah that's basically all i'm doing tonight so i will see you guys tomorrow good morning it is currently thursday and i'm just doing a bunch of work for live more both of my shipments are finished now off the swim and the tops and so i'm essentially just finalizing all the sarong styles which are going into production right now and when finalizing all the details you have to be so so specific with the manufacturers if that's one thing i've learned is that you can never assume that they're going to just do something because they'll always will do the opposite of what you would assume someone would do <laughs> so i end up sending them this super detailed document and so i'm actually measuring right now um the prints and giving them the exact measurements of how big they should be just so i know everything's gonna be right and then i do book an inspection as well and then i get a whole inspection report that's one thing i didn't do on the very first time i had gotten all the dresses and i ended up i decided to inspect them myself to save myself money which was probably the biggest regret because it just took so much time and effort i had my little sister working i had my mom working we were all inspecting the garments and there was like a few issues with some of them so then i ended up having to send them back and it ended up being literally more expensive than if i had just gotten an inspection so yeah more of the story is don't cheap out on things because when you feel like you're saving money sometimes you just create more work for yourself and more problems and i literally spent more money anyways all right currently just finishing up some work i actually just made myself um, some avocado and toast and i'm also packing my bag at the moment because i'm gonna go do an outside workout with a few friends so i'm bringing some bands and a towel and then a water bottle and that's about it i also decided i want to bike there because i haven't biked yet this year and i did buy a bicycle last year and haven't used it nearly enough Yeah. <laughs>
up the furry dead cat. Oh, it's very wet. Come here. My mic is uh, looks like a dead cat. Happy Friday. I'm going on a hike this morning with Peter's mom and his brother's fiance as well. It's super beautiful here. So I just drove to North Van. Basically all the good hikes are located in the Northern region of Vancouver. There's so many here. It's one of the perks of living in Vancouver. If you guys watched the last vlog, which if you haven't, I will leave it linked below. I did a hike last week and it was, it was awesome. So anyways, I'm just waiting for them now. And then I actually am working out later. I'm doing a rumble class, a private uh, training session with my friend, Jen. You guys saying really bad just happened. Oh my god. I was eating a granola bar on my way here and I just got out of my car and I was like, wait, there's like melted dark chocolate on my seat. And I'm like, oh my god, I guess part of the granola bar fell off, melted onto my seat. It's now like on my butt and it looks like I shit myself. <laughs> I need to run to the coffee shop. Oh no. Okay, so there's no bathroom in that coffee shop that's available. So I'm literally walking back to my car so I can try and deal with the dark chocolate that's on my butt you guys it is bad it is it's oh my god it's, and it's not even on my butt it's like where if you if i was to shit myself it's where it would be and there's so much of it i don't know what to do. oh dear god oh my god honestly there's a solution to every single problem i found a glove in my car i do find one of my life skills is problem solving I can basically figure out any single issue. Oh my god, it's working! Love that for me! <laughs> All right, so I'm all done the hike, obviously. <laughs> I'm currently in my storage locker. It was so nice to just go out and explore. I actually came here to count a few stock things. So I have all of my tags here that my manufacturer had sent me. And with the new swim coming, um, since last time they had sent me all of the tags, instead of me shipping this all back to them and having them do it, I'm just gonna do it just because there's not as many pieces. Um, I mean, there is still like, I mean, there's a decent amount, but it's not like it's not in the thousands, it's in the hundreds. So I figure I can just do it myself. And also kind of exciting news, I am actually moving to a warehouse in the States for a few different reasons. So the first reason being that it actually like this storage locker, since it's kind of close to downtown Vancouver, I pay quite a bit for it. Like I'm paying like over $200 a month for this. So I'm actually going to save a bit of money being in a warehouse in the states another reason is because my customer base that i want to focus on is the us because there's a lot of states that are sunny all year round so it's perfect for a swim and there's also a lot more people in the us canada obviously you can't really wear swimwear as much whereas places like florida for example you can wear swimwear all year round and so yeah it just makes more sense for my business and then my customers won't get charged with duties that's another reason and then another reason is that when i ship my products from my manufacturer it always stops over in the us first and then i pay so much duties to bring it all into canada and so i'm like you know this just makes a lot more sense to do this now but yeah there is quite a few things I need to do before and it will need to ship all the extra product I have here to the states I honestly don't have that many dresses left um, I have a bit of swimwear just because I had launched it in the end of August just things took longer the timing with everything so I do have um, more swimsuits than I do dresses like for example the long blue dress I only have seven left Also 
Okay, so I've officially arrived at Third Beach and everyone is here. We're actually, <laughs> the girls over there are setting up a really cute Instagram picnic. Louisa went all out. But we're just gonna enjoy some rose and have a little girls day at the beach, take a few photos and enjoy ourselves. Hello, oh, you remember this thing, oh, yeah. don't you? <laughs> all right, so we're just here watching the sunset. It's honestly so nice. <gasps> Oh my god, that's a nice photo. And obviously we've been getting a lot of photos, but straight fire ones, honestly. We got a bunch of stuff for Livermore, which is really exciting. <laughs> that is it for the vlog i hope you enjoyed watching it definitely make sure to check out the girls crew pieces that i talked about at the beginning of the vlog and i'll see you guys in my next one bye